Hi friends! So today I want to share with you the updates that I've made to my daughter's bathroom. So this is kind of geared towards a teenage girl, but really it could be for anyone, especially for a guest bathroom because it's very neutral. So the first thing that I'm doing, you do see my previous decor here. Everything that was previous, the shower curtains from Bed Bath & Beyond, um, but we were kind of over the green and wanted something more shabby, chic, hippie vibe, I guess. So the rug mats the neutral the cream that you saw me put down was from walmart and now i'm taking down my shower curtain again bed bath and beyond if you're interested i don't know if they still carry it but it's a really beautiful print again just doing some updates i will tell you that as soon as i remove this print and i put in the gorgeous ivory um, it made the bathroom look instantly bigger so perhaps a print makes the room look smaller um, and a solid makes the room look bigger, I'm not sure, but it definitely felt like, it felt very light and beautiful, and I just, we love it. So, I am installing some, I kept my shower curtain liner because it was still clean and nice and reusable, and I went to Target and just got basic clear shower curtain rings, you can get them at Dollar Tree as well. Because this shower curtain is so fancy, I really didn't want to do anything over the top for the rings because I didn't want to take away from all the detail at the top. Now this shower curtain is from Urban Outfitters, and I think I purchased it for about $30 or $40. So now I'm just going to kind of clean, I already cleaned her bathtub, you just didn't see that in this video. And I'm putting everything away that needs to be part of her bathtub, and I'm taking away all the decor. It kind of had like a nautical vibe, so now we're going more again that hippie, laid back, gypsy kind of feel. At least that's how we interpret that type of aesthetic. And I think it's a great combination because it looks great against my cabinets and my countertops. So when you are decorating, take into consideration the frame and the furniture that's already in your bathroom um, to elevate it and bring out its most beautiful features. So this cake stand is from, where did I get this from? The Home Goods Store, I believe, and it has a gold lining it's so beautiful and now i'm just piling all of her little everyday uses on top of it and trying to put away the bigger bottle items that can just go underneath her cabinet and i always keep a candle in her bathroom a vanilla candle i feel like it's the best scent for a bathroom it's very light now we're going to do a diy so because i had my mason jars diy from last time and they had that green color i wanted to obviously do something new um, to keep all her little like uh, ear swabs and cotton rounds and things like that so i basically took dollar tree candlesticks spray painted them gold and then i used hot glue to add this little small mini glass tumbler and the hot glue honestly adheres so much faster than e6000 but if you do want to wash these in your dishwasher, I would go for E6000 instead of a hot glue because it might um, come out, the glue might come out in your dishwasher. So that is it. And I really love this look for her ear swabs and cotton rounds because she doesn't have to actually, un she doesn't have a lid. Um, but because these mason jars are still beautiful they actually match my bathroom decor so i'm going to repurpose them into my bathroom and as you can see the upgrade from the green to the gold it's just so beautiful and this little piece right here is from ross it was 4.99 and now i'm doing something that i didn't do before in her bathroom which is add art decor never really had anything up there until now and that print right there is from tuesday morning it was 11.99 it already had a gold frame and it kind of had like a creamy beigey marble print and I really liked it and then I'm adding these really cool funky mirrors that I got at Hobby Lobby honestly they're one of the most expensive things aside from the shower curtain each one was $35 but mirrors was 50% off so each one came to about 17 bucks and then I just had to figure out how I wanted to display them and that is it. I know I ran through that really, really quickly, but as you can see, just combined with the wallpaper in my bathroom, the countertops, the furniture, the cream and the gold just accents everything so well. And it was 
inexpensive to do aside from the shower curtain and the mirrors. Um, but again, I always love to pull in my Dollar Tree DIYs. I hope that you guys enjoy this update. More updates to come throughout my house. So click subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye! Thank you.